Lesson 4.10, write equations to represent addition. An equation has an equal sign. This is an equation. And two sides of an equation show the same value. We have 20 plus 10. And on this side of the equal sign, we have 30. This side is showing 30, and this side is showing 30. We've learned several strategies so far. We can solve an addition problem by writing an equation, drawing a quick picture, using a bar model, using base 10 blocks. When we're solving word problems, we can look for addition clue words such as add, in all, altogether, together, and, plus, both, sum, total, increase, combined, or how many they have, or how many they have in all. We can write an equation to show a problem. We read the problem to see what information we have and what we need to find. We write an equation, that's a number sentence, drawing a box for the missing number. Then we solve for the missing number. Tala has 14 pieces of gum. Sophia has 12 pieces of gum. How many pieces of gum do the two girls have? So we think, we need to add to find the total amount of gum. It's saying how many pieces of gum do the two girls have, so we have to put it together. Our important numbers are 14 and 12. We're going to add 14 and 12. We write our equation, 14 plus 12 is equal to some number, so we put a, block, a box here for our sum. And we can solve this using mental math by adding the tens to the tens and the ones to the ones. We have one ten and one ten, that's two tens. We have four ones and two ones, that's six ones. That means our box is equal to 26, that's the sum. And that means the two girls have 26 pieces of gum. That's how many they have together. When solving word problems, we need to identify the important information, understand what we need to find, choose a strategy and make a plan. And we solve and make sure we answered the question that was asked. We check to be sure. It's telling us to write an equation for the problem and use a box for the missing number, then solve. It says, Mr. Kim grew 28 pumpkins. 18 are large and the rest are small. How many are small? We think we can use a bar model or an equation to find the missing add-in. The bar model can help us write the equation. We have 28 in all, so that's the whole. That's important. And we know 18 are large. We need to find how many are small that when added to 18 will equal 28. If we look at the number 18, we can see it needs one more 10 and it will make 28. That means 18 plus 10 is equal to 28. That means there must be 10 small pumpkins. Did we answer what it was asking? How many are small? Yes. There are 10 small pumpkins. Su Jin read some pages of her book. Then she read 30 more pages. Now she has read 72 pages. How many pages did Su Jin read to start? So it's important that she has read 72 pages. So that's how many she read in all. And she read some amount that we don't know then 30 more. Our equation is some number, so we put a box, plus 30 is equal to 72. And we think, how many more tens and ones do we need to add to 30 to equal 72? We have three tens, we need seven tens. That means we need four tens, and we'd be at 70, we need two more, that's 42, and 42 plus 30 is equal 
to 72. That means this box is equal to 42, which means Su Jin read 42 pages. Did we answer what it was asking? How many pages did Su Jin read to start? Yes, 42 is the first number. She read 42 pages to start. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. Mr. Kim grew 33 large pumpkins and 27 small pumpkins. He also grew 21 small zucchini and 36 large zucchini. Compare the number of pumpkins and zucchini that he grew. We learned about comparing numbers using a less than, greater than, or equal to sign in video 2.12. If you missed it, it's linked in the description. So we think compare means we need to use one of these symbols. We'll put it in the circle here. And we can total the pumpkins and total the zucchini to compare, to compare them to compare their sums. We've got 33 large and 27 small pumpkins. We stack them in place value columns. We start by adding the ones. 7 plus 3 is 10. We regroup the 10 and put a 0 in the ones place. Now we add the tens column. 3 and 2 is 5, and one more is equal to 6 tens. That's 60. For the zucchini, we have 21 small and 36 large. We stack them neatly, and 1 and 6 is equal to 7. That's 7 ones. We have 2 tens and 3 tens. That's 5 tens. So we're comparing 60 pumpkins to 57 zucchini. We can look at the tens and see 6 tens is greater than 5 tens. So 60 is greater than 57. Remember, the big open side faces the bigger number. 60 is greater than 57. Sarah needs about 50 beads to make a necklace. Without adding, circle two boxes that would be close to the amount that she needs. So be very careful, it says without adding. And we need to circle two boxes that would be close to the amount that she needs. And she needs about 50. That means if she gets this box, that's already 50. She needs two boxes. That's too much. And 64 would be too many. We need two boxes to get to 50. What about 18 and 45? Could we use these two boxes to get close to 50? Well, 45 is already close to 50 by itself. What about 18 and 34? Would that be close to 50? This just needs two more ones to be 20. We have three tens and one ten, that's 40. By the time we add the ones, that would be close to 50. So we think 18 is close to 20, this is close to 30, and 20 and 30 is 50. So we could use 18, or Sarah could buy, the box with 18 and the box with 34. We needed two boxes. We can add their tens quickly to get close to 50 to find the two. So as you're writing your equations and you're solving word problems, make sure you're using the correct numbers and make sure you're answering the question that was asked. Our next lesson, 4.11, we're going to find sums for three add-ins. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.